Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, looking at another beautiful day. Uh, mid to high 60s. Maybe not the 75 that we saw yesterday, but beautiful today. Anyway. Yeah, yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. And I'll take today. No problem. Getting my hair done. I was supposed to go last week but something happened i couldn't go so today's the day all right um and we're just going just just for maintenance this is not for anything special right no all right it's a maintenance hair day maintenance right? there's a lot of maintenance here got a That's lot of maintenance it. going on how long do you spend at the uh, salon oh let's see today i'll get my uh color <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I don't need a whole agenda. Just how long are you going to spend <laughs> about at the salon? a good hour and a half, maybe, maybe two. Oh, that's the. I thought it might even be longer. Okay, uh, all right. How much of that is uh, gossip time, and how much is well, real time? Well, uh, the salon I go to is hilarious. These two ladies run it; they're crazy. So they're always yelling at each other. There's always something going on there. It's it's an entertaining situation while I'm getting my hair done. And yeah, there's a lot of gossip going on. All right. Very good. Um, I assume yesterday you got out and about with Tilly. You went out? Yes, I did. I did. It was a beautiful day. Got a lot done around here, too. It was just a Monday to catch up on, you know, little chores. Did you Any, vacuum? You were supposed to vacuum. I, I haven't. I No, I'll, I'll, I'll vacuum today. <laughs> I have not vacuumed. Uh, I, I want to know. Don't if you have you, one of those three kids vacuuming? What's the matter with you? I, I told Abigail, I said, today you're going to have to uh, help vacuum. Um, no, I, I'm not done with you yet, Candy. Hang oh, on a second. Oh, dear. And no so more. So hoping you jump off of me. It was such a. It was such a beautiful day yesterday that I, I, I need to hear, were you at the park? Give me Did some. Did not go to the park yesterday. All right. Um, I was on the deck. I was doing stuff outside. We went for our walk, and then I was doing indoor, like changing the sheets and la, 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 lu, and, you know, a Monday of boring, boring things Ugh. to do. So Man. didn't get to the park yesterday. That is shocking, considering it was almost 80 degrees yesterday. It was gorgeous outside. And there's, you know, we have this bumblebee that hangs around our deck. He's always there. He'll come right up to you. He doesn't hurt you. He's very mellow. But he's right in your face. All right, hold on. First of all, uh, you sure it's the same bee uh, from, I'd from like last year? I like to think it's the same bee, yes. And I'm going to think that. How long do bees live? I don't know, but this one is here now. It's <laughs> okay. just him, and he flies around, and he comes up, and I'm like, don't get too close, and he does his thing, and he loves it here on the deck. It's funny you mentioned a bee, because yesterday I had a bee flying around my front door. Big one. Must have, must have been the queen, this Candy. This was a big one. Um, I forget what they call them. They're large. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This this was a big bee. Um Looks like it just came from the buffet down the street. I mean, <laughs> mine did too. Maybe they went to the buffet together. So, but I'm a little different than you. I do not let the big bumblebee fly around me. Oh, hello, friend. No, that does not happen. What do you uh, mean? What's he's not hurting you? I, well, I know enough not to swat at it because then I know it would probably attack me. I, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of run away from it, wait for it to fly off in another direction, then run oh into the house, Candy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. I'd like to videotape what you're doing around the no. house. Yes, no. Yes, I would. No, you don't need to see that. It's really, uh, it's embarrassing. I admit it. Uh, but these, these bees, they come from nowhere when the weather gets nice. And yeah. He's you know. friendly. I said, please don't get too close to me. That was that. Uh, you have guts, Candy. Unbelievable. He's not going to do anything. He's a simple little bee. All right. Okay. Now, if they were swarming at me, that would be a different story. That's true. Uh, but I do love the weather we had yesterday, regardless of the bees. I Yeah, absolutely. Really did enjoy that. Now, yesterday, as we spoke about, was tax day. It was the final deadline to, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, H and R Block, they're uh, you know they're a big deal, right? When it comes to taxes, yep. you mm -hmm. see all the stores and the commercials. Uh, do you know their software crashed yesterday? People must have went out of their minds. 
Uh, they did. Uh, they finally resolved the issue around 345 Eastern in the evening, in the afternoon. Um, but a lot of people had issues. Um, according to the IRS, tens of millions wait until the last day or days to file. Yeah, true. Uh, so they say that now H&R Block tried to, you know, calm everyone down. They said, listen, uh, anyone who downloaded, used the downloaded version of our software, uh, that's who it affected. If you went on our website or you went to a brick and mortar location, you were fine. But regardless, there were thousands, if not tens of thousands, uh, you know, of people who had an issue and they were advised by H&R Block to go to their local post office and mail their taxes and people went oh. berserk they're like what are you oh. mail we're electronic a, a good price you know it's not yeah. cheap like if i had done it not with my by myself online if i went to h it would have cost me probably two two fifty right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you what i gotta now go to the post what what? Yeah, well, and first of all, young people have never mailed anything in their lives. So if you're young, you, you know, <laughs> that's a whole thing. And you, it takes longer if you mail it to get your refund and all the different things. You know, you, you everyone does it electronically, really, at this point. So Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then, pe because of the issue online, people were hitting, like, the send button or whatever, the submit button. <laughs> so... They hit it so many times that they got charged over and over. Oh my! And what over. A nightmare. Oh, yeah. That is a nightmare. I'm so glad I wasn't part of. So H and R Block says they're gonna, you know, everything's gonna be taken care of and fixed. Wow! And don't worry. Wow! Yeah. And wow! Everyone will get their money back and don't don't sweat it. But yeah, could you imagine? I, I very you know, aggravating. Yeah, you know, obviously they crashed because everybody was, uh, you know, waiting to the last minute. Yeah. Yesterday. Well, yeah, we are a world of procrastinators, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, we still have plenty to do here. 7.30, special song, 8.12, right around there. We'll have your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Also going to tell you an interesting story about lack of sleep. Let's discuss. Oh, boy. Um, I have an uh, interesting article about the most stressful time of day. We'll get into oh, that as well. Yeah. Um, a doorbell camera with a new feature. I don't know if you're going to like this one too much. Mm, all right. We will uh, get to that. Your national days, good news stories late in the 8 o'clock hour as well. Uh, we have a beautiful day. Uh, mid to high 60s. Another gorgeous one. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.